Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, this is Rico. It's only one game, so I'm not going to push the panic button. But the difference is, is that Watson has not built up enough equity with good performances to not have some level of concern. All throughout week one, there were quarterbacks that struggled, great quarterbacks that struggled, but the difference is, is that they have built up equity. So you're not really too concerned about them. With that said, I'm not going to pass the panic button, and we just need to get right, get ready for Jacksonville next week. Thanks. Go Browns. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Scott, I, um, I've been a guy that I, I thought Deshaun Watson would play better. I, 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 it's simple. Um, the loss to the Cowboys, each game it, it puts more pressure, especially because you lost one at home. I mean, Cowboys are a good team, but that's, that's the type of game if you expect to be a playoff team, you got to win at home. Yeah, for sure. But I, I do think that that caller sounds reasonable. And he, Deshaun Watson has not built up any kind of collateral um, with his fan base, and that's completely understandable. So when he plays poorly, it kind of confirms a lot of people's fears or judgments about him as a player. So I think that's perfectly understandable. Just to play devil's advocate a little bit, um, the last time we saw him on the field, he was 14 for 14 in the second half, and the Browns came back and beat Baltimore. So it's not like we have to go that far back to find a game where he played where he played well. It's just it's been a while. And I think the default is Watson no longer has it. So anytime he plays poorly, that's where a lot of people go. And he certainly played really poorly against the Cowboys. 